Yeah, David, both mother and daughter were arraigned in federal court this afternoon, indicted for using force and threats to compel victims to work in an adult foster care home. But Yolandita Andre, the daughter, tells me these claims are blatantly false. On Thursday, at Valida's care home on an unassuming street in Tigard, the FBI took the owners and operators, a mother-daughter duo, into custody. You know, so it's just like, it's insane that they could say, say these things about us right now. 66-year-old Marie Valmont and 30-year-old Yolandita Andre were named in a seven-count indictment accused of holding three victims in indentured servitude and benefiting from forced labor. This after federal prosecutors claim they convinced two adults and a child from Haiti to come to the U.S. to work at the care home. So my mom and I, we sponsor some of our relatives to come to the United States. On Friday, KGW spoke with Andre after she pleaded not guilty to the charges in federal court. Just being a woman and you hear the stories of like the things that are being done to young girls down there, I felt like I have a responsibility to to do like something about it. Although court documents allege the three victims were forced to work long hours for little to no pay and that Valmont and Andre took the victims immigration paperwork and threatened them, Andre told reporters that couldn't be further from the truth. They may have stayed here, but she says they were not employees and that they came to the country through what's called humanitarian parole, a program that allows people from certain countries to come to the U.S. for up to two years to live and work. No, they weren't employees. They didn't come here. We had hired other people to work. You know, we only had two clients. There was no need for us to hire five, six, seven, eight people to care for only two people. When my mother and I were already in the house and we already hired two other people. She said she and her mother helped her relatives get proper paperwork and ID cards, paid for food, clothing and for medical expenses and would send money back to Haiti. In our community, it's just so normal to be so overly generous and put your family and everybody first. So Andre says to be criminally charged, accused of indentured servitude, is shocking. Growing up with a mother who was undocumented, a black woman who had no papers, I have seen the way that the world has treated her. I would never do that to anybody. All right, their next hearing is set for November. If convicted on the charges, they face up to 20 years in federal prison. David. Yeah, really interesting to hear so extensively from the defendant right after an indictment. Thank you, Alma. I appreciate your reporting here.